Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. You want to be on stage it's like DJ that? DJ Envy, <laughs> Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Yes, sir. We have the New York Kings uh, of comedy. They're missing one. Minus one. Uh, Minus uh, one. Yeah, Minus one. we had to replace yeah. Capone this time. Every time we come up here, we lose one. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was wondering what <laughs> right He's on punished. the faces. They He's like, on punish. You never yeah. know. Uh, I thought he was on just, timeout. I thought he was just running late. Capone's some business. You thought what? You know he wanted to be here. I thought he was running late. He got to get some business out of town. No, you know, it might happen. It might happen. He might be. Yeah. I think I think catch me getting fired, so cats don't show up all the time. You can't fire me if I'm not yes, there. I'm not here. Yeah, that's right. Shit like the Yeah, real talk. Now, but Cap is 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 you know right in the front of the New York Kings. He just handled some business out of town. Well, okay. Mark has never been there before. No, never been, been here. Mark Vieira, what's happening, what up, my brother? What yeah. We got to get Good as morning. many shows as we can before they build that wall. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a sensitive subject, you know, Rob. Trump is all one. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no Trump. <laughs> well, are you even Mexican? So de Puerto Rico, Boricua. He's Puerto Rican. He just looked Mexican. Look That's not... in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> you look, look, you look yeah, right in the eye. Bitches in the Latino thing. You look, yeah, I look all like this. <laughs> Latino envy. Envy black. Envy, you know what I say, right, Papa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say like that. See, Papi. He's like, got money and his credit <laughs> still messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you need credit. Black. Do Latinos have one of those? Like how Haitians say, yeah, pase, and yeah. then somebody yelled back. Because <laughs> nobody in here yelled back when you did that, Mark. No, no. Drum and Puerto Rican. I don't think we got anybody, right? No one. Yo, oh, okay. We oh, told, the head nod? On the low. We on the told low. Mark ISIS was looking for him. He thought a dude make it icy. I said ISIS. <laughs> what flavor? That's what strawberry, daddy. Let's go get someone. Hey, Ice ain't playing, though. Ice really getting people up out of here. You saw they did a 21 yeah, Savage. 21 Savage. That shit ain't no they joke. They walked them out. They, they really going to do this to them? Uh, they going to go back yet. to England? The craziest is cra they took them right past the Statue of Liberty when they walked up to the thing. They was like, yo, go ahead. But ain't it just <laughs> Canada? <laughs> My. No, that happened in Atlanta. No, but I'm saying, they deported them to Canada. They walk over there, right? They don't deport you to Canada. They deport you to Canada. Where are you from? Where are you from? He's not from Canada. He's from England. He's from England. From England. Nah, they run you through Canada now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to, go, to go pick up stuff? What do you mean? They what walk, what they walk Netflix special you got? That's what I'm telling you guys. Stop. You got to pick up your kids. He was actually born in Dominica. I got caught in custom. I think he was born in the UK. But the Dominica is a UK property. I thought that was I thought it's not anymore. They, they got they celebrated their independence from the UK. Yeah. Nah, because he was born in Dominica. Yeah, Dominica. That's where his mom from and everything. I thought it was called Dominica. As well. Dominica, yeah, whatever. Y'all yeah. <laughs> never get that name oh right God. on the show. Y'all. Nah. It's, it's, it's always a tomato. tomato. They just go tomato, so tomato. How do you say yeah, Dominica. You ask me? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Dominica. You know, we begin with a D. I don't know. I'm black. <laughs> now, last time we, we, we had the guys up here, Mark, they were talking about an incident that you got into. No, not me. I didn't know. Are you sure? You don't even know what it oh, is? Oh, now he don't speak <laughs> English. <laughs> <Not, laughs> what you say? What happened? <laughs> well, Mark you may not want to talk about that because that is a crime, it. and we don't know what his status is. We don't know what his immigration status is so that you can get deported for crimes. Well, he didn't pull a knife. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. And just to be clear, Puerto Rico's in the United States. Yeah, he can't, oh, yeah, you're right. So he it's can't. not in, it's a part of it's, it. Yeah, it's I mean, gotcha. it's a part of the United States. Oh, you so. good then, Mark. So somebody yeah, I'm pulled, good. So, so I hope. you got a knife pulled on you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. During the show. But, but isn't that crazy, though? Somebody uh, somebody decided to pull a knife on a Puerto Rican. On a Puerto Rican. That's that. And the Puerto that Rican that. didn't have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> How ironic is this in, 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 right from from, uh, from the bird's eye view? I'm That's like, sick do that right <laughs> <laughs> we could sell, that's a book. Now what were y'all I mean, arguing about that made somebody want to pull uh, a knife damn. on you? The 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 silliness that is chump change, you know, li little dollars, not even big dollars. Mm. Drew forgot so, to pay him so, some money. Yeah, Drew did not pay me hold for Hold on, hold on, Drew! <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to pay him some money. Was and he yeah. just took your money back. I ju yeah, so I just... So he forgot to pay you money. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, so when you, when you all got paid for the show, you took your money out the show. Like, I took my money, money out the show because it had been... It had yeah, been, that might have got me a little tight, too. Well, check this out. It had, been, it had been enough time. But he owed it. It had been a year. Yeah, it had been enough time where I was like, "Hey, yo, I'm done." Like, I'm I, first of all, men should not go up to men and be like, "Yo, yo, player, remember that for fifty you owe me?" Yeah. It, it should be on your mind when you get that little money mm. that you paid. It's been back. a year, and be the know. funny thing is, everybody thinking everybody got paid. So he the only one that get his money. So when it, it all break off, he's like, "No, oh, from from Bermuda, you remember you owe me the money?" Everybody just stop because we breaking it up. We was mm -hmm. like, "Wait a minute, you ain't paying? Get him." <laughs> <laughs> we thought he got paid. Think about yeah. it. I just yeah. did that show, right? Yeah. I finished performing. Yes, I got my bills. I'm like, I right, where my money? 
And he like, well, remember that money you owed me two years ago? Yes, but sir. That time? Yeah. I'm like, nah, but let, let me pay what I want to pay, though. I tell you how much. Fight. How much was it? The fight would have been good well, to the night show. It was fine. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't. <laughs> it no wasn't money. a little bit it's of money to me and to us for for the amount that we got paid for that event. That was a that was a, a spit in the bucket. Yeah. For real, I'm being honest. Yeah. We we did a fantastically big venue. Mm -hmm. Damn, I mean, close to sold out. Probably six tickets from sold out. It was a fantastic. I just stabbed event. you for five hundred though. Yeah, but <laughs> that's stab <laughs> worthy. But I'm depending saying, on your I life situation. Been stabbing, right for five hundred. Come on, that's man. That's stab worthy. Go back, go back ten years. Five hundred. That's money. That's real money. That's yeah, my yeah, bills yeah, yeah. too. Right. You feel me? So I don't care about his bills. I'm caring about my bills. So I'm like, yo, bro, I had to take that money because this is what it is. You owe me this money. You paid everybody but me. I was feeling. I would have said sure five thousand and make the story. So sound now right. you should. <laughs> no, but you should pay him. You saved him. You yeah. no, was no. the savior, so you should pay him five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I said everything was good oh to the knife show. You saved him. Where did you get this knife from? We, we had a green room, food, room. Dinner. You know this oh, food. So it was yeah. a butter knife? So the butter knife. No, it, was like, it was like a part. It was a sport. <laughs> I didn't even want to talk. No, I'm kidding. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Who's still hey, using the shower? Hey, you good? It was. Uh, I'm surprised so them them part butter knife, part steak, like sharp in the front oh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would have. It would have. Plastic it was, or metal? My wife was right standing right there. Thank God. Uh, we had closed the door and, and left the wire. Oh quick. my God! You had nah, to be honest nice. with y'all. Tell tell her. She was trying did, to get up in there. My wife's on the South Bronx, and she, she was not she, playing. She saw what was happening. Don't let him stab my husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. we got him, but we ain't have him. <laughs> you have him? Nah, we ain't have him. Cause me and Capone, we sitting there. We think it's we don't think it's real to this real. So we laughing the whole time. You thought it was a sketch. Yeah, we thinking like <laughs> Drew just puffing smoke or whatever, and then boom, he grabbed the knife like. West Side Story, and we was like, yeah, yo, we man. jumped up, like, yo, we, you know, we ten Tito's in and Patron, and we, the green room got crazy, and all the, the security opened the door, door just cracked this much, and the state troopers and all you were like was the this. wise man, state troopers, boom. oh, the state troopers shut it down. Wow, did have you spoken to Drew since, Mark? No. Did he no. apologize? He hasn't apologized like Dame Dash did to Leo Cohen. The, the next day, you know, he, he texted me. And uh, sent me a, a text apology, but I, mean, I, I didn't really feel I didn't feel true. that that was you know what I mean. He should have called you. It, it, yeah, I mean, I did what Dame Dash did made, to Leo Cohen. Made it a point to come over to me, yeah, and say something to me just on some grown man shit like yo, I lost my my sensibilities and I apologize. And it, you know, we there for business, man. It, you know, we there for business. I wasn't there for anything more than that. We we literally stepped out of Albany, New York. Did not even take pictures with our fans. I mean, it was yeah. like I said, nine hundred, yeah, you know, nine hundred tickets sold. And we were I, we were in the back arguing over five hundred dollars. But like, that's how you know he's not documented because he didn't press charges. They <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I could, but I was trying, B. It was like separating them. Come on, you sure? You sure? He's like, yeah, I just want to get out of here. You sure? Where's your paper? We just got to get out of here. Me and my wife want to get out of here. <laughs> so why not press charges? Is that like snitching? Um, it. You know what? It just would have. It would have just extended the whole process. Like when you press charges, and I gotta go. They gotta check I, his paperwork. Yeah, they, I gotta go downtown. I gotta go wherever they take <laughs> him to lock paper. him up. To then, you know, write a report. Ain't nothing worse than going was... to lock somebody up and they lock you up too. Right. Do you have a warrant? Smart man. No. Uh -oh. He's being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's talent is just not. You're swallowing it. No, no. I just, I just said, I just said, Drew. You know, I'm just gonna walk away. And it was it was a it was a tough moment for the New York Kings, and then we had to bounce back from that mm. um, and deal with the promotion. But you know what's crazy though? On the real, what 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 strike me crazy is he didn't really feel like he did nothing wrong. I don't know if he was numb. I don't right. know if he was drunk. Like I'm riding home with dude. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a couple hours ride. You think he mentioned any of it? Yo, let me just say that. Let me say that. Hold on. I call talent because sometimes you, know, you you guys travel sometimes be whatever but you get through it so I call t talent just to get a feel because sometimes shit happens you go did that just happen right. so I just wanted to get a feel I'm like yo T man what, what happened and he was talking funny and I was like how come you not really answering me I'm like you right he riding with Drew <laughs> 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 and Drew no. ready let him out on the highway so. he didn't mention nothing two hours two and a half hours so he drove yeah he oh, didn't mention nothing. nothing so I'm sitting there like okay I don't, want, I don't know if there's any more knives in here. You know what I mean? So <laughs> the sad thing is, I lay down. It's, it's right before the Super Bowl. Why would you let? Why would you I, ride with a drunk person? Talent wasn't drunk. Uh, me Drew too. drunk. Because I'm drunk. So both of y'all are drunk. You want me? Do you want the drinker to make I sense? Sit that part of the <laughs> <out. And laughs> out. I'm, I'm, I'm in the car. You got you to remember. Yeah. It took about what an hour and a half with all the state trooper business before we yeah, hit before the road. So we got done. Yeah. But I get home. I lay down. I'm shaking my head. I'm like, yo, let's deal with this. Because Super Bowl. It's that day. I'm like, still with this Monday, man. 
Wake up Monday, dude sends a long text with demands. Again, like none of this happened. Like, listen, I need more money on this tour. Whoa. You know, I'm more consistent. I'm doing this, that, and the third, boom, boom. Like three paragraphs in text, and I'm like, I said, this dude don't even, and I wasn't going to tell the fellas. I'm just in my Who mind. Just you? But then they called, like, listen, unsafe work environment. Somebody got to go. I was like, all right. I said, somebody better call him. I, I don't want to call him. Who called shit. him? I think it was Cap yeah, or you? I think it was, yeah, I think it was Cap. Yeah, at that point, I didn't want to make And he didn't work. get it. He still didn't get it. Right. They was like, listen, unsafe work environment. He was like, you know, when I get to the theater, because we had a, another show that Wednesday, when I get to the theater, I'm apologize to everybody. It was like, no, no, you don't understand what we're saying. <laughs> he was like, no, when I get to the I know. You know, I realized I was wrong. I shouldn't have pulled the knife. So when I, I'm an individually apologize, they're like, you don't understand. It's I was right. on vacation, so I had to come back. That show I was going to miss. I had to come back and make that show because they wasn't letting him in the building. Hey. So he didn't know he was fired, basically. Or he just wouldn't accept it. He didn't it. understand it. Like, you ever been in a position where you fire people and you get that one guy, you telling him, but he didn't get it. Yeah, you know, cutbacks, you know, production, and we just got to crunch the numbers and the budget. See, that's still beating around the bush. That, that, you have to be saying. like, you're not with us anymore. You're fired. Yeah. Because yeah. that was kind of beating around the bush. Let's say, Drew, yeah. we're moving in another direction. <laughs> that never works in the black community. Never, right? I know. <laughs> when you move in another direction and you're black, you really move. <laughs> That's when a dude come to work the next day. <laughs> he trying to hit him with a Caucasian line. You know, Drew, we're moving in another, another direction. direction. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> so we the Chicago, oh, we the Chicago Kings now. Beautiful. I was hoping we'd move this thing. Did you come to any other show after that? Just pop up or no? No. No. That's no. I think Drew and Gerald Kelly should find their own Kings of Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. They they have. Have. Stranger things have happened. Stranger no, things. Let, have let happened. me just say this as a disclaimer. I like Drew. I love the dude. The dude was at my wedding. That's my man. But I can't do business with the dude. That's the thing. I I respect him comedically, but I can't do business with him. Drew, I get it. Drew is That's actually, what you say when like a female got stink booty. Yeah. <laughs> and you ain't gonna hit it no more. I mean, no, no, we just say that. I like Tina. No, no, you know what it cool. is? The people around the country that's been following the New York Kings when we first started, because we started this like 20 pounds ago, mm -hmm. you know, when I still had hair and all of that, when we were all doing Def Jam Comic View, that's when the original New York Kings started. So we've been doing this for a while, and Drew is my man, but it becomes a time when you get older and you decide to toy again, you can't do that old it shit. It must have been other things. That just that I love how Rob thing. snuck no, in. It, it was a build up. I love it how Rob snuck in that he losing weight, that he lost a lot of weight. He's, He's like, you know, 20 right? pounds ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, no, I mean, everybody's gaining weight. I mean, everybody's gaining weight, you know. No, he's saying that they've gained weight since then. That's what he's saying. Now, you know, Chase Morgan came up here and had a conversation about you. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Y'all put my picture up on the screen like I was missing. And y'all act like Chase Morgan came up here and initiated the conversation. Y'all asked him. We have the audio. We have the audio. He didn't want to hear it, really. Let's hear it. Let's hear it if you want to hear it. I love you, Rob Stapleton, and you know that. I mean, you go back like spinal cords and car seats. But right now, I'm focused. I mean, Excuse me if I cannot, but one day, hopefully I'll be able to return to love in that form. But if you get on the radio and say bad things about me because I can't help you right now and I'm not in a position like that, I'm not. But he, he said that you didn't even, you didn't even give him a credit. He called back like, like no, that. lie. I see Rob all the time. I'm not, I'm not running, I'm not hiding. I'm at Caroline's. I'm at Caroline's. Why would you take the opportunity to be on this show and do that? No one else is saying that about me. You're, you're a funny man, Rob. You can make it happen. I, I, this is not my job. So I'm not Steven Spielberg. I can't take on someone's script and make it happen. You need you something like violins that. playing in the background. <laughs> Said you're a funny guy, Rob. What do you no, think, just, Rob? Have, have y'all spoken since? No, nah, we haven't spoken since. We haven't spoken a while before oh, that. Man. Let me clear the air with that, because everywhere I walk in the street, people come up to me, and I've heard that people stopped Tracy at his shows, and they brought it up, which is true. My thing is, I never said anything bad about Tracy. I never said Tracy Morgan is Tracy. I never said he wasn't funny. I never said blah, blah. I just said we are personal friends, and the shit that he did was fucked up. You know what I mean? We have a, a relationship, and he just treated me as if I was a dude off the street trying to give him a mixtape. That's All bad. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the fucked up part about it, and I just went public with it. Right. I feel a lot of people have shit to say. Tracy's a superstar. I'm going to look in the camera, and nobody's hating on Tracy. Tracy, we came up together to Uptown Comedy Club, 125th Street, 5th Avenue together, me, you, JB Smooth, all of us. 
I'm happy for what you're doing, but I'm keeping it real. It, it's I wrote for you on and shit before, right. and I didn't ask you for a dollar. So all of this, and right behind that shit, the bullshit about it, and I'm going to keep it real saying that was bullshit. He came up here to talk about he can't help nobody and blah, 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 and then turn around and say, that's why I, I put Tiffany on the show to help her and then blah, blah, blah. So either you helping niggas or you not helping motherfuckers. But my thing, I'm not asking Tracy for a dollar. I finished the film and just wanted him to get his puffy on, hit one button, and say I'm the executive producer, bringing it back to him. Or That's at least all look at it and say I like it or I don't. Exactly. But just take a look at my product and yourself. say I fuck with it or I don't fuck with it. That but was you it. just say you helping niggas or you not helping motherfuckers. Exactly. So are you a nigga or a motherfucker? Because you're not helping motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so that was my I only thing. What you my, said, though. Was <laughs> but you understood <laughs> this shit. Right? Right? You helped me. That shit was like pig Latin. You're not fucking motherfuckers. You're not fucking with your motherfuckers. You know, but, you know, but Tracy, <laughs> Tracy made it sound like we, we don't see each other. You know what I mean? It's not like we avoided each other. We just fucking don't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. People's schedules are busy. Like, he act like, yo, I'll be at Caroline's. Like, I'm going to cancel my gig in Virginia just to show up at Caroline's and be like, hi, Tracy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's, it, we, but the thing is, we could speak. And that that's just what it was. And I just yeah. went public with it. I never belittled that man's character. Right. I just spoke the truth because this motherfucker isn't what everybody say that it is. And I'm one of the motherfuckers who said the truth and I'll take whatever consequences come with it. I ain't asked for no motherfucker well, help. I said, like let's do thing. shit together. But he didn't say anything bad about you either. He did say he loves you. He did say you fucked. He did. I, I mean, like, yeah, but he's, he lied so he ain't in a position to help him. He good, he good. That's nothing. Like, sometimes you just want the introduction, mm-hmm. you know, to walk the thing in. The cosign. Connect. You don't want all the, you don't give me a million dollars and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in, this, in this industry, that's what you do. The white boys do it all the time with each other. Adam yeah. Sandler grabbed Judd Apatow, grabbed blah, blah, and they work together. Will Farrell, Adam McKee, they all... Work with each I other. I just want one Walmart. I can see. <laughs> just one. I can see if I said, "Yo, cut this check for me, Tracy." I ain't want him to cut. Damn, damn. I just, I, nah. I brought the product, and wanted to work. It you happens. No, I'm saying it happens. That's it, man. Yeah. I know, but I like how when y'all played it, he he didn't know what it when you dry. You cut, cut, cut that shit off. Cut that, that, that shit off. Cut that shit off. That's the best off. blind sign ever. <laughs> That's the breakfast shit came out. Do, do y'all really got to watch what y'all say in 2019? You we, be, we have this conversation all we the just time. We're just talking about yeah, that shit. You're yeah. supposed to. I don't. You're you know why to. it is? Um, internet, man, and, and social media makes this shit. Everybody <laughs> is a blogger now. Everybody wants to have the first one. Somebody die. I, I said it first. The exclusive. The exclusive. I got pictures of the body. You know what I mean? And everybody wants to be the first one to say something. And and this is why I like the shit with Kev. What, what happened with the Oscars coming right. back and... The Me Too, what was it? Whatever was coming at him, bringing that up. How the sensitive. The LGBTQ community. I love, stance, like, I love you know, You want the apology. Can't beat that. But that community wants people to accept change, but you can't say that Kevin Hart changed. You know what I'm saying? I can nah, see he, if Kevin said this 11 weeks ago. No. This shit was 11, 10, 11 years, years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another you reason. You got go to go by his body of work. That's why the dude, the, the governor in Virginia, the dude with the blackface. Yeah. Right. You don't just no. do that overnight. You travel with a circle of people that had that same fucking beliefs. Charlamagne yeah. know what I'm talking about. You from South Carolina. That, that shit down in the South is real. Real. He 24, 25 years old in medical school. That motherfucker making life choices. Word up. That ain't some shit where he just had a couple of shots of whiskey and decided to do that. He was comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just had a conversation about blackface, and we were talking about how one-third of Michael Americans- Michael Blackston or blackface? Black. Okay, okay. <laughs> get that right. Let's just get and they that. were saying one third of Americans think that blackface is okay if it's a Halloween costume. Is it ever a time Hell that blackface? No. Let me is tell okay? you, man. It was 1619 huh. when the first 20 slaves came here from Africa, and the shit ain't never been funny. So there's never a time, whether it's Halloween, the anniversary. What about like, acting in a movie? No, it's never cool to do that. It's it's like saying it's cool to rape on weekends. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Is I didn't rape her during the week. It was a weekend. It's it's never cool. It's never cool Single to do that. Comedians do it like, you know, uh, who, who did it dressed up as Carl Malone and somebody oh, Chris dressed- Well, Jimmy Kimmel dressed up as Carl Malone. Jimmy Fallon pretended to be Chris Rock. So they look at it weirdest in character. Mm. And I guess people liken it to when, you know, the Wayans did white Jr. chicks or when, uh, you know, Dave Chappelle used to do the white newscaster. Yeah, I, I think it, I think it's a it's a case well, of Eddie, going too Eddie far. Eddie did it on SNL. You know I mean? Remember, Eddie did. Uh, no, Eddie used to pretend to be a white Eddie, dude. Eddie yeah, pretend to be a white guy. You know, you know, walking down the street and and. But I feel like the oppressed. But that was the show racism. 
That, that, if right. you look at the core of what Eddie was trying to let you know what he was talking about. I feel like the oppressed can always make fun of the oppressor. The oppressor can't make fun of the oppressed. That's the rules. That's the rules. And then we can do it. That's I black agree. privilege. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Ooh, what if a, a yeah. white person dressed up in blackface to show racism, How if he was black, it would show how people treated him? Well, I'm going to grab that one. I don't, <laughs> think it's a, I don't think it's a press thing. I think, like, on, on the real, I think it comes down to... It's just like how you not what you say, how you say it. Mm -hmm. I think it's stuff like that too. Because remember, Whoopi got got it first. Like one of the comics that we know now, Whoopi got it first with Ted Danson. Right, and it went so hard that they put is a is a book out on black comedy called the African American History of Comedy, whatever. And they got all of us quoting different stuff. What's the worst time of comedy? Whatever. And her quote is in there. Dion Cole's like, it set us back twenty years when Whoopi. Whoopi found this dude's number. Yeah. This is Whoopi, this is Deion Coles, <laughs> somehow found his number going through Donnell Rao, all these people, and cursed this dude out like a chick from 10H in the project. Yeah, really? Deion didn't tell yeah. you that. And Deion, he, Deion was like, that. he yeah. thought it was a joke. He thought it was one of us. So wait, what, was, what happened? In, so what was but his quote was in the book? One. His quote in the book was that it set us back. Yeah, when Whoopi wore, there was like, name a moment that was like worse for black comedy to set us back. And he said, when Whoopi came to the party, uh, you know, when white faces, because Ted Danson had the black face. Wow. And they had the, the paint on the faces and mentioned her in the thing. And Whoopi went crazy. It took her about a month or two to find this boy number. Called him, threatened him on the phone. And he's sitting there. It was the funniest conversation. You hear him tell the story because he had so much respect for her. He ain't expecting Whoopi to call him. She's like, yo, motherfucker, you don't know me. Talking like a straight chick on the street. Motherfucker, you don't know, keep my name out your mouth. And he's sitting there like, excuse me, Ms. Goldberg. One minute, Ms. Goldberg. Pardon me, Ms. Goldberg. She's like, fuck that. And motherfucker went on, like three calls she called him, just to curse him out. And then he finally, you know, apologized and all that stuff and said he was just joking about it. But he really, that was his quote. Mm -hmm. You know, like everybody feel a certain way about it. I I feel like... Shit got to be fair game across the board. I think these broad strokes is fucking us up. Yeah, I think yeah. these broad strokes is fucking yeah. us up. We was just talking about we that, agree, like the Liam, the Neeson joint. Like, hold on, before oh, you even jump into that, Eddie Murphy wouldn't have been able to do his two specials, the raw or the Larry. Hell no! If with the, today, how sensitive today. this climate right. is right, right. now, yeah. Yeah. pull out. That's why I didn't understand over. how they wanted Eddie to host yeah. the Oscars two years ago. Yeah. Have, have things changed that much exactly. that two years ago y'all wanted you Eddie to host? You do it, but you mad at Kev. But you mad at Kev. So it's like. Like pick, pick your poison. That's to me, it's the abuse of power. Right. You know what I mean. You know, I, I, I think that anybody that whatever lifestyle you live, God bless you. But you can't abuse that power. And and the thing that Kev wanted his whole life was the to be the host that Oscars, and all of a sudden you want to bring that old shit. Can I up. ask why you blew a kiss just now? Who was you blowing a kiss at? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, I didn't understand. To my that. point. You was like, to whatever lifestyle you want to live, you blew a kiss. Like, why? Wow. Wow. To me, I, you was uncomfortable too? I was just wondering why. I, I, like, I just looked straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, this is my David Dance moment. <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody I'm being kissed to. I want to apologize to my third grade teacher. Like, I was like, it better be a Yorkie in here. So. You, you worked with Dame Dash before, Rob. You did the death of a dynasty. Oh, you had to play Jay. Yeah. Capone, Capone was playing, playing Dame, right? Dame. Yeah. And Kevin Hart, uh, Charlie Murphy, we were all in that. Were you shocked that Dame apologized like that? That's so not Dame. Hell Very yeah. Weird. I can't wait to get on the phone with my man Choke and just... Hmm hear what he has to say about that. Be- that was, I just saw it last night, and it was like a moment from Get Out, Mark. You yeah, know what I mean? Crazy. I just couldn't believe it. It, it. First of all, the shit looked weird. He was sitting there with a whole bunch of dudes, and the microphone is hanging over, and the dudes are standing there. I was like, this is a sketch from Mad Chair TV or Saturday Night Live or right? some shit? It's, it's just, it looked unnatural. And, and then it cuts, and it says therapy, and he puts the hat on, and then he's crazy. like, continues with control. Big and everybody else. Yeah, who are all the people surrounding him? It was yeah, a Dunkin' Donuts shit was like, it looked like in your mind, you think of Illuminati, you yeah. be like, is That's this it. really Illuminati? Yeah. It's like, yeah. It was this a Dunkin' was Donuts weird. commercial, he just and he, went left. And he didn't sound like himself. He sounded like he was under the influence of alcohol or something. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it looked like one of those moments that somebody got that visit. That's what it looked like. You got that knock? Yeah, because like the, 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 to name those people, those specific people, right. that you spent so much time mm. Digging. Berating, they, I understand the Jim Jones. I even understand the Jay. <laughs> yeah. But when you got an executive on it, somebody got a business. Yeah, man. why Leo Cohen? Yeah, I was just yeah. And Steve Stout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yo, Stout. when we were shooting the movie, because that shit goes back with them. I didn't even know that they were beefing that much until you read in the script. And every 
other page is something bad about Liz. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, they he really can't stand this dude. And in between breaks, he's talking about him and all of that shit. So to hear this, to see that video, I was like, whoa, <laughs> shit. That, that's some life or death so shit. he hated Leo back then. He hated him back oh, then like a motherfucker. Yo, crazy. I mean, being on that set, it was funny because when we were shooting a movie, you find out they were really breaking up. Like, we didn't know they were breaking up. It's like we were just all happy. Me, Kev, it was like right before Paper Soldiers and all of this shit was happening. Dame said he was going to put us in the flick, and he did. But when you see Jay wasn't on set one day until the last day, the last day we shot, he showed up, and then you could feel the friction in between them. Dudes weren't really talking, and Biggs is quiet all the time, so you you know you don't really sense nothing there. But I was like, yo, this shit is fucked up. Yeah. That's wild that, that I mean, because even when that movie came out, that's why nobody really believed the Rockefeller breakup because they was like, oh, nah, that's exactly, the movie. exactly. That's a dynasty that was movie the they tried to promote. It's a spoof. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was a spoof for the whole shit, and at the end, they came back together. It was just. I saw this shit with, with Dame is my dude. I give him a lot of love for giving people a break. If Dame believes in you, he believes in you almost to a fault. Like when Jay went to France and he hired Cam and brought the, you know, that was a big move right there. That that shifted a lot of the energy right there between The Rock with Jay and yeah. Dame right there, making that move, giving him such a high position there. You know, Jay wants people to eat, but you got to earn that position. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think I think also he jumped over so many people that were there a lot longer. Whether yeah, it was yeah. Beanie, whether it was Bleak. Bleak and, and everybody else. So, But Dame was definitely, you know, he a Harlem guy, man. And, and he just, he's like me, very emotional. And he uh, says what he believes, but almost to a fault. In this business, in the music business, you're going to have to work with people again, which you don't envy. You know, mm -hmm. one label works with the next label with the next. It all goes around. You got to be connected. You know what I mean? So, wish the brother well, man. And y'all doing y'all special April 1st? Yeah, April what? 1st. We finally shoot. Tell me about the special, Mark. Crazy, man. We, we finally getting it done after, you know, proving to New York who we are by selling out the Apollo Theater, you know, about a, over, a little over a year ago. We sold out two shows at the Apollo, which, again, is unheard of. Um, two back-to-back -back shows. Now we're finally putting it on, uh, you know, getting it recorded and uh, sitting sitting down with the uh, with the companies in charge, you know, like I said, a live taping of the New York Kings after this Carolines thing, it's just on after that. Like we we know what we want we know what we want to be, and this is the next step. Well, to it's that. on tomorrow, Texas. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, three days well, in Texas. Yeah, we, we actually come back start here. the tour in Dallas, you know? Houston, and then we come back to New York for for Carolines. Wow, yeah. great man. And I want to thank everybody around the country, man. The people that have been working with us for a while since I was doing $8 and the Midget Stripper and Talent was doing the Def Comedy Jam tours you, and Mark doing this shit on laugh tracks and all of that shit. <laughs> Shout that, out to that, all that my He's selling tickets out of town, which is big, because you could be big in your own town, but it depends on what you do outside of your city. Shout my chicks out. <laughs> shout you out used to get a lot. You used to get a lot, get a lot of talent. Sorry, I, saying, got, right? I got so many chicks. I can't shout them all out. Shout some out. <laughs> big shout out to all. <laughs> big shout out to all the talent side chicks that get their Valentine's Day the day after. <laughs> they get their candy the day after Valentine's Day when it's half right. <laughs> you miss, you miss doing morning radio talent. Uh, I still do it once a month. I still go up to the Rock and do it. Okay. You know, I got a comedy club. My my third comedy club I opened up in Rochester. So I go up there, I got like open door where I sit down with the morning show, like for a full week, once out of the month, every month. So like in two weeks, I'll go up there and do the week. All right. You know what I mean? But you got to stay sharp with it, you know, because radio is like, it's still a voice, you know what I mean? And that's what comics do. Comics, like, we we the last frontier, to be honest with yeah. you. You can't, you can't trust the preachers, the motivational speakers. Comic is where you got to go get the real now. Right. Like, we the last frontier. So do y'all care about Valentine's Day? Damn. Is the men in Not the me. Room? Why you say damn like that, Tally? He, he was trying to forget that it was this <laughs> week. You know, I hate Valentine's <laughs> Day. You got to get Tally? None. I don't believe in it. I, that's that's a, sacrilegious. Oh, my God. I'm the, oh, only, that's one, I'm the only one married. You act like it's a, a rumor. Time. Valentine's Day is a rumor? <laughs> Valentine's Day is false advertising. The couple's holiday. <laughs> Everything in it for the girl. Valentine's you don't get nothing. Day that is true. Thursday. Think about it. They have, they have cards, sweetest candy, day country, in the Midwest that's for men. Y'all get everything. Wait, wait, what? What? In the Midwest, it's called Sweetest Day, and that's for men. We don't get nothing, bro. We don't get the same ass from the last Valentine's. <laughs> Some of them don't even dress it up. <laughs> Remember, I told you me guys one time, you better hit it either. before Olivia Pope come on. I said, damn. <laughs> I, that's a real, I got to hit it before scandal? Like, you don't get nothing. Like, it's false advertising. Like, so I just, I make, I'm always working. You know what I mean? So oh that's one of those big days yeah. as a comic. You should be working anyway. Mm -hmm. So you've never bought Listen. a present for somebody for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Man, my, listen. Nah. 
Lady, tweet me if you got the present for Talent for Valentine's Day. Look at every no part of this. Like, I mean, no, but see, and you gotta exclude if you marry. Envy's envy three credit yeah, yeah, cards yeah, yeah. in already. Us, us married men, yes. No, you, you, you marry. You we have to make. We have to make certain sacrifices. Well, I already right? know. Oh, yeah. She already put his ass out twice. I already know that. I don't stand by any of Talent's comments. I am. I'm not sleeping on the couch because this motherfucker wanted to be funny. You want to be tough. You want to be tough. I'm just being. Honest. That's why I won't get married because I believe when you get married, you really can't be a hundred percent honest. You get in trouble. I don't know what talent. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm hundred percent like, honest, honest, honest with my wife. And be pushed this microphone. Yeah, you better, you better shut, shut up. up. Look, all the married dudes turned on the big guy. Expect y'all to agree with me? No, I don't. I don't have a problem talking to talent about it. So what can't you be honest about? You just can't be a hundred percent honest. Like about you what? Anything. Boy, you come home and you done threw 25, 30 more pounds on and you ain't what he what he bagged to get married. He never going to really say it that Shit way. Shit me. He yes, not going to say Most dudes know Babe, you and the damn dog. Let's, let's, let's go get a trainer. Now, <laughs> see, now you just go to the gym let's together. Go, go Why? Okay. Why? You, you think gotta I'm do. fat? What you then you got to do that Let's go get a trainer. Look what you got to do. Now, somebody with no money ain't saying go get a trainer. Somebody with no money, ah, you fat ass out of here. Can't say it, though. Give him this. Fat ass, get on my God, nerves. Tell damn. the Spanish woman approach to that. Yeah, yeah, the second you say, babe, we should start going to the Why, you think I'm fat? And then, Why, you don't love up, me no more? You do, oh, you want a skinny bitch? Well, Is that what you up. want, skinny bitches? I eat, okay, and I cook. So that's what it's going to be. So eat and shut the fuck up. And, then, and you know what we do? We shut eat the and we shut, shut the, the fuck up. up. See, hey, envy is married. And, and, you know why, and you know why that don't make no sense? Because y'all go and eat two carbs with every meal. Well. Rice and beans every <laughs> motherfucking time. Every <laughs> <laughs> you got the plan. You want to start that on? I rest my case. The way you said my whole point. They I'm tell you good. shut up, shut. Are you right? <laughs> All right. Well, the New York Kings of Comedy will be at Caroline's. Yes, this sir. Weekend. Right after Valentine's Day. What? Yes. What's, what's, what's the show times? <laughs> Uh, the first show Friday is the side bitch show. So, guys, <laughs> half price, half all for side bitch. Don't forget, we got a Sunday bring show. Bring two side bitches, the third one's free. Oh <laughs> it will be next to all sorry, the women sorry, in the sorry, audience sorry, a Valentine's sorry, Day present, yeah. man. Friday, 7.30 <laughs> and 10 o'clock. Saturday, 7.30 and 10 o'clock. Sunday, 7.30 and 12.30. So, go get your tickets at carolines.com. Yes. Thank y'all for having I'm us. I'm going to try to come on Sunday. I had a good time. I seen Rob at Caroline's recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah on TK yeah, Kirkland the show. TK show. Yeah. Okay. You should see him without Drew. He's so funny now that Drew's gone. Look <laughs> 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 at really the camera. Drew. <laughs> what does it mean, man? <laughs> <laughs> now, we can, we, now we can be honest? Really? My goodness. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Yo, always thank y'all for having us, man. Thank you for coming to my, um, my podcast, too, because both of you guys hosted my yes, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, you ain't come yet, but we'll get you one. We get us do it. We'll get you one. Drew said I can't get you, so. You know. <laughs> oh, so we walking from there? No. <laughs> <laughs> from there? <laughs> Yo, they're the type of people who would set you up. They will set you. you uh, in, the in the same room. In the same room. That shit, it'll sound like, it'll sound like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I remember I did Envy podcast, and I didn't know what was going on. It was a whole bunch of dildos on the table. I was like, damn, you got me. <laughs> I took the wrong that. episode. Now we can't now, that. Just to be clear, Envy definitely uses dildos. So they were all over. They were in the green what? room. I was like, I what week did I pick? What, what are we talking about? It's not weird. What week did I pick?